In this video, I show an example of using the photo match feature in SketchUp. This involves importing a photo and making sure that you click on the third option, Use as a photo match. I saw this Japanese box on display in the San Francisco airport and searched for a photo online and found it. This is the picture that I found. And here is the screen in the beginning of a photo match session showing many colored bars called perspective bars. My first step is to find the origin, this yellow rect uh, square, and bring it to a convenient corner of the object. Then one by one I line up the perspective bars along features in the photograph. Here is a in the red axis and I'll line that up at the very bottom edge of the box. Now there are multiple perspective bars but let me zoom in and make sure I've got this located properly. It doesn't, it's not quite lined up. There it is. Now I locate another green perspective bar at the far edge. Let's put it up here at the top surface of the top in the in the green in the green axis here at the corner and I've got another green and I'll put that perspective bar down here at the bottom of the box along that edge and zoom in to make sure I'm pretty close. One more red. I'll put that up here at the handle along the red axis on the photo. And now all the perspective bars are set and we're ready to begin modeling. So I click done on the on that window and then I can pick the line tool and begin to draw over features of the box. Along the red axis I've got the bottom edge of the of the box bottom and I make a rectangle the size of that box bottom and for the time being I'm going to make this a group. Later I'll change that to a component. And we can make a side come up on the blue axis and click on the upper corner of the side and then force on the red axis and click on the position we've made for the bottom and bring that line over and I've got another face and I'll make that a group. That's going to be the side component. And over here on the end we can again show the base Actually, I could have used the push-pull tool and pushed the bottom group from the front surface, but this works too. Then we need an end component or an end group at this point. Come over on the green axis, register off that point, make the full rectangle, and make that a group. 
So we've got the bottom, the box bottom, the box side, the box end. We can make the top of the box in the same way. Make that a group. This time I'll grab the push-pull tool and just push that top, edit the group, and then push that top all the way back to the rear of the box. There's this, uh, okay, it, once, if you move the mouse, orbit the mouse, you lose the picture, but only temporarily. You right-click up here on the scene and click edit the matched photo again, and it's back. I need to click uh, done on the window here and then I want to get the shape of this strut on the end. I need to come out the thickness of that strut on the red axis and then I'll make a rectangle face on which I can place an arc with that shape and I'll I'll make this rectangle the full width which the, the bottom is the most wide portion come up on the blue axis and and then come across uh, about I'm going to come across about here on the green axis and I've got my rectangle notice I didn't go all the way to the top surface of that that post because I'm somewhat out to the right with the angle of the picture that offset makes a little bit of sense now the arc tool I've got a face on which to place this arc. I'm going to go from that bottom edge intersection and come up about here and shape it to fit match the photo. And there we have, I'm just going to show one of those arcs because I can later on copy it over to the other side, flip it. And now I'm push-pulling the thickness of that. Actually, it pushes back to the face of the end, so I'll just touch the end. Uh, let's... Let's look at this handle now and try to get this handle somewhat modeled up. And it's going to be in the center, in the midpoint of the of this vertical strut. Or I'm going to pick the midpoint down here, come up on the blue axis. And now I've got my midpoint, and I'm going to draw a line on the red axis out to the, well, I'll go just to the back edge of the top surface. Actually, the tenon on the on this handle goes all the way through and protrudes through, and I'll do that work in in editing the components. 
But this gives me pretty good starting point with the major components and you can see here that there is enough information here on which to go ahead and and uh, finish up the modeling but I'll go ahead and put this handle the top has a handle that that rabbits in or into a and come across at this point come up and make a, a rectangle on which I can use the arc tool again make that a group and use the arc tool place an arc but I didn't edit the com I need to edit the component first now I can delete the corners and use push pull to represent the thickness now if I know one dimension on this the length of the box or the width of the box then I can resize all of these parts to the actual size and finish it up with the detail modeling and the joinery as I've done here in this assembly view.